Hi. Hi, y'all. Hello, Bonham Academy. Welcome. This is, <laughs> this is Miss Anna and Miss Sarah. And we work at Jumpstart Performance Company. Can you tell them what that is again, Sarah? Absolutely. So Jumpstart Performance Company is a theater company located right here in San Antonio, Texas. We do theater performances, um, art exhibits and galleries. And we also happen to teach young students about theater and performance just like you. Yes, and art. And so today is kind of special because we are going on a field trip. Yay. All right. So do you want to come with the, on a field trip with us today? Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. So if you've been watching us these past few weeks, tell them what we've been doing, Miss Sarah. We have been learning about Dia de los Muertos, uh, which is a celebration that takes place right here in Texas, South America, Central America, and multiple uh, cultures that deals with um, death in a way that celebrates it, the way that we celebrate life. Yes, so it's called Dia de los Muertos, or in English, Day of the Dead. And it's not something scary. It's not Halloween. It's basically a time when we remember the people that we have loved that have passed on, and we want to kind of uh, give them respect and welcome them back to our earth for a day. And that was on November the 2nd, and it's past now. But the cool thing is we had some really good artists do an amazing altar. So I remember a few weeks ago, I showed you guys how to make an altar and Miss Sarah made an altar in your house. But I thought it would be really cool if we would take a field trip to show you a professional art gallery with a real professional artist and how he makes his altares, all right? And you guys, you're gonna be blown away. But before we do anything, let's do a quick check-in, okay? Miss Sarah, why don't you go ahead and check, tell them what check-in is and go ahead and check yourself in. Absolutely. So here at Jumpstart, we like to check in every class. We like to start by giving a highlight or a bummer or highlight and a bummer. So our highlight is something good that has happened to you uh, very recently and a bummer is maybe something that's not so good. So for an example, my highlight today is that I have had a like really filling lunch. I haven't eaten this well in a really long time and I'm like, I'm super good. Uh, and my bummer is it's it's getting a little bit cold. It's a little, uh, you know, part, I've been wanting to go to the park, wanting to go running, but it's a little cold outside, but that's no big deal. We like to close out our check-in by saying checked in and go to the next person. So Miss Anna. Hi, my name is Miss Anna and my highlight today is that I'm here at the Bill House Arts Gallery with our good friend David Zamora Casas to see his altares. I'm super duper excited. So that is my highlight for today and my bummer is a mosquito bit me right now so that kind of itches so I'm going to try not to scratch my legs during this class okay all right and I will say I am checked in do you have a highlight or a bummer think about it what is it what's your highlight oh that's good and what's your bummer I hate it when that happens are you checked in say check in all right, good job. So now I'm gonna put on my mask because we're gonna go inside the Bill House Arts so Gallery. Here we are, I'm gonna go inside Bill House Arts with our artist friend, David Zamora Casas. Hello, David. Hello, welcome. Hi, wow, this is incredible, David. This is your altar, oh my gosh. I just made a tiny one on my little living room floor, but this is amazing. What does this mean to you? What is Dia de los Muertos and why did you make these altares? Dia de los Muertos is celebrated November 1st and November 2nd, and it's a celebration of life after death. The Aztecs used to believe that the butterflies were migrating souls. So this altar is dedicated to all the people that have passed away and that we hold in our hearts and in our memories. And in that way, we keep them alive. Oh, wow. There's traditional flowers. The marigolds are yellow and orange. They represent the, the smell that come, that calls the, the souls to the altar, they're magical flowers. And these pictures were given to us by the community. They emailed us photographs of their loved ones. Because of the time of COVID, we asked people to email a photograph of the person that they love that, they passed, that has passed away, and we honor their life by putting them on this altar, Dia de Muertos Altar. 
Oh wow, this is incredible, David. How did it how long did it take you to make this? It took us two weeks to install, but we were working on it all year long. Oh wow, a whole year of planning. What's this altar? This altar is dedicated to the children that were lost at the border at the, at the detention centers by the United States of America. They're children that came from Guatemala and other parts of Central America looking for a better life in the United States, and they were taken from their parents and uh, they disappeared. Oh so this is, goodness. we're assuming that they passed away, and so this is have. dedicated to them. And it's filled with candies and fruit and toys and some, some clothes that represent the life of these children. Wow. Some of them were two years old on up. Wow, this is a beautiful way to celebrate their life, their poor short lives. Thank you for doing that. What made you decide that you wanted to be an artist, David? Well, I think that sometimes we do not have a choice. And I did not have a choice to be an artist. I was just born with the idea that I wanted to express myself through the way I dress, through the way I speak, through the poetry I write, through the paintings that I create. I had no choice but to be myself. And that was being an artist. And probably all of you have artistic qualities within you yourself. So I encourage you to explore your inner artist and come out and be yourself. Thank you so much, David. This is just so incredible. Wow, look guys, look, if David can do it, David, do you think they could do it too Absolutely, someday? absolutely. Wow, this is beautiful. Here's some of his paintings. I just want to say thank you guys and thank David Zamora Casas and Bill House Arts for letting us take a special field trip today. Thank you, folks. Thank you guys so much for taking us on this field trip. That was so exciting, y'all. Thank you, David. Yeah. So Yay. we'll go ahead and go out with our checkout today. Um, I will go ahead and start. My highlight now is this beautiful field trip. I feel like I've learned so much from a local artist here and I'm really excited to go check it out when I get the chance. Um, my bummer is that, you know, Dia de los Muertos is a little bit different this year because of the circumstances, but it's good to know that we can still celebrate it in our own ways. So I'm checked out. Great, all right. So my highlight today was just, seeing, and uh, my bummer is that you couldn't come here with us today, but things will change. This isn't gonna always be this way forever. You guys are doing a great job. You guys are awesome. So give yourself a pat on the back and let's let Mr. David Zamoragasas give a highlight and a bummer. Hi, my highlight today was sharing my art and my life with all of you young people. I think that my, my similar bummer was the fact that you couldn't come and see it yourself personally. But I am an American of Mexican origin and I like to be called David. And so I encourage you to claim your name. If you don't like the name that you have, make one up for yourself. You can create your own name and uh, be yourself. Great, all right, be yourself. All right, thanks guys. We'll see bye you bye. next time, bye. Bye bye, bye. David bye. Casas. Bill House Art, thank you. Bonham, we love you, bye.